John McPherson with 704 Outdoors. I had something unfortunate happen last year to my Remington 730-06. Got a uh, crack all the way down the middle, which uh, my sling pulled out, and that's the way I figured out what was going on. Uh, the stock was actually cracking all the way down. There's also uh, a crack coming right here where the bolt was at. Um, my father gave me this rifle when I was 16. It means a lot to me. So uh, trying to see what I was going to do with this rifle now that this stock was all messed up. I went and looked at a replacement stocks and uh, they were all pretty pricey. And then I uh, come across a Black Hawk Axiom stock. Uh, it's a recoil reducing stock. It's supposed to take about 80% of the recoil out of your rifle. So uh, I went ahead and picked one up. And uh, this is what it looks like now. Big difference from uh, the standard Remington 700 look. It's a uh, full floating barrel. This action back here actually moves back a little bit over an inch. And then there's also a spring in the stock. So there's a spring here and there's a spring down here where this whole action actually moves backwards when you take a shot so it uh, takes a lot of the recoil out of the gun it makes a huge difference uh, shot it a few times uh, the accuracy is picked it up a notch with a full floating barrel it's a lot easier on the shoulder to shoot I know that um, I wouldn't have a problem handing this over to my wife or my nephews to shoot it a little bit because uh, like I said it the recoil reduction uh, in this stock is uh, taking a lot off of it. So, not to mention it just looked bad. Man, this rifle is awesome. So, it's definitely woke up this old 30 out six. Uh, it's been a fun little project. As you can see, it's got the floor plate trigger guard on a BDL, which my old rifle was an ADL. So the only real changes I had to make was I had to get a different trigger guard and floor plate and a new bolt for it. Otherwise, it would have just dropped right in. Once I got the new floor plate with the bolt, it just came together. Something you could do yourself. No real gunsmith needed at all. And uh, I'm real pleased with it. I'm going to take it out and shoot a little bit. Let you guys see it work. And uh, like I said, uh, this is a good option for those of you... Uh, who need to replace a stock. This stock itself um, wasn't much more than $200, which again, was about the same as uh, replacing a stock with just a standard Remington stock. And uh, it, it definitely helped accuracy-wise, and it helped uh, take a little of that shock off the shoulder. So give it a try, see what you think, let us know what you think. And uh, we're going to uh, go out here and play with it a little bit and uh, we'll show you some footage of shooting this thing. All right, guys, we got the Remington 730-06 with the Black Hawk Axiom stock out here. Got a couple rounds in it. We're gonna shoot it. Let you see how it uh, how it works. Hopefully, I can slow it down enough in the video to where you can see the action of the stock. Again, there's a spring here. And there's a spring in the handle, and this actually goes back a little bit over an inch. Good thing about this one, the stock is adjustable. For the real tall guys and the short guys like me, you can adjust it to fit you. So we're going to uh, take a couple shots, put in my ear protection, and let you guys see this thing work. She's empty. All right. She's empty. Again, a completely different animal 
with this new Blackhawk Axiom stock. Uh, definitely uh, takes a whole lot of recoil out of this rifle. I wouldn't uh, have any hesitation putting this rifle in uh, my wife or my nephew's hands. Definitely made a difference. And uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you need to replace a stock in an old rifle or anything, give this uh, Blackhawk Axiom stock a try. Uh, I'd say that uh, I like it a lot. And if uh, any of my other rifles uh, stock go to the bad, probably be putting a Blackhawk on it. All right, guys. Till next time.